People have said about me that there's just a, there's a spirit and there's something that just comes through when I sing. I love playing outside festivals. You hear differently outside because you're in nature. If you look out in the audience, they're kind of closing their eyes and just breathing and appreciating that moment. Everyone, they just look around at each other and they just, they just feel like, oh, it's really good to be here. And I always knew from a very young age what I wanted to do. And I always just loved music. I was really, had my record collection and that's all I do is just sit in my room and put on records and sing and dance. I was always very connected to music and um, rootsy music. I moved to Nashville with my father when I was 16 and I thought I wanted to be a country singer so I started studying guitar and writing my own songs. But country wasn't really my, wasn't my thing. So I gone back after that to Los Angeles and I started just auditioning for people and literally sleeping on studio couches. I ended up getting an audition for Madonna and all of a sudden I was riding around in limos with her and singing and dancing with her on stage and that was, I, I knew then of course that was like my big debut as a performer. In that I ended up finding myself as an artist, as a songwriter. I got a big record deal, made my own record, starting to be a writer but I was really not confident about what my own story and my own feelings about life and relationships and, and my own feelings about spirituality and my own path. So I left my record company and I got really into world music. Got really into studying yoga and into those teachings. Then later on I got an opportunity, someone came to me and said, um, yoga's really taken off in this country and we want you to do a record of just the mantras. This record ended up being in every yoga center, and a lot of people got to know my music through those mantras. Well, what's great about this music is, 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 is a, it's a good message. You know, Donna writes great lyrics, and so it just lifts people's souls. It lifts my soul playing the music. Donna's definitely has those, uh, the talents, the producing talents and uh, the musicality and great singer. And I do work with a lot of different singers, but Donna, there's this great uh, sensitivity, a vulnerability. People want to come out and have an experience, um, and a good experience, a good conscious experience. A lot of people recently have been saying to me, who haven't seen me play in a couple of years, they've been saying, wow, your stuff has gotten really, really like celebratory. You know, it's like, it's like more of a party. I, s I constantly see a lot of the same people coming to the shows and they want to follow her around. There has been um, some recent shows where just the energy just went through the roof. I mean, just the whole room or the whole festival or wherever it was, just everyone is hands in the air going, going nuts. And she can do a lot of different types of things with her voice. We're at the peak energy in a performance, and she is belting out on top of the music to when it's just her and the harmonium very quiet, singing something very slow and emotional and spiritual. I've been moved quite a few times. I love singing slower songs where I could really have that space to really fill up with my voice, but I really like that uh, dancing with the audience and getting into songs that are that are just really positive and uplifting. And, you know, we're just all partying and being grateful and, and just celebrating life together. <laughs> 